But this is um called Rapid Black Pen Ultimate Eyeliner, and it's really awesome. It's this tiny little point, kind of goes on like like a felt tip marker or something. But I just start in the middle. Just kind of depending on how drastic you go, want to go. I usually start with the line. Make sure that's where I want the top to be. And a little bit on the bottom. It's a lot of trial and error. And then the good thing about this stuff though is it literally comes off with just like water. So if you got a wash rag and you mess up and you want to do it again, it's really easy. So obviously there are different forms. You need more curved, more straight. I did more of a curve today. I'm going to do the other side. I've been doing this for about two years, so I'm making it look a lot uh, easier than it probably is. The hardest part is getting them even. You really step back. Looks about right. This one's a little higher, but I don't think it's obvious enough to tell. This is just a really bright MAC eyeshadow. It's called, I believe it's called Electric Eel. Yeah. So it's really bright. And I'll take my pinky. You see like a little bit on the tip of my pinky. And then I'll go under here. Just adds a little something so it's not all black. Then I'm going to use, this is my favorite MAC uh, mascara that I got with my, from, um, my sponsorship, and it's the Hot Naughty Lash. I stack it on there. I really like the dramatic lashes. Almost to the point of overdoing it, but not quite. It really makes a difference for me and pictures. And we are good to go. Yeah, I just keep practicing, don't let it get you down, you know? It's really, it's an art. It is. So just don't let it, you know, don't be discouraged by the cat eye. Just keep at it and uh, have confidence that you'll, you'll do really well. So. Over and out. that I don't know where John went and he's gonna get you in that mirror don't try and put it in the mirror and John's gonna get you